Hi, I'm Craig Sharp, editor of PexNetwork.com, and I'm speaking to Joe Paris, founder of the OPEX Society. So explain to me why the OPEX Society has decided to work in partnership with the PEX Network. IQPC and, and Operational Excellence Society have been in orbit around each other for some time. Uh, we each service a, a very similar, if not the same, ecosystem, maybe some from uh, different perspectives. For instance, uh, Process uh, Excellence Net Network, PEX, focuses on people that are fixated on process, process optimization, process uh, uh, efficiencies and effectiveness. Uh, the APEX Society takes it a little bit step further and focuses more on systems. So, you know, systems, if we take a look at systems, they're made up of processes. So there's an actual uh, intersection between the process people and the systems people, and that is where the alignment must occur in order for true realization of the potential to occur. And how common is change resistance within an organization? What can be done to combat it? Well, nobody likes change. I mean, everybody is inherently resistant to change. You take your morning routine. You, know, you go to work every day. And when you get to work, or even when you return home, do you really remember what happened? You know, you do these things automatically. You don't look at, you forgot how to see. And that's a comfortable situation. You know, people don't want to be pushed out of their comfort zone, especially when things are going well. You know, if things are going well, why should we change? So that's almost why uh, always change is precipitated uh, as a result of some external influence that is injected into uh, the body rather than the body uh, deciding they want to do this themselves. Um, you know, take for instance uh, um, the uh, end of the year. You, you're, you've gained a couple of pounds during the, uh, the, the holiday season and you say, geez, I'm going to lose this pound, these 15 pounds by, by Easter. And you really go to the, the gym for the first couple of weeks after New Year's, and you look at it and you say, you know what, I've done all this effort and I haven't lost anything, I'm going to give up. And that's really why people are the resistance, uh, resistant to the change, because they think it's hard work. And what they do is they, they set a pace that's not sustainable. You know, is it important to lose the 15 pounds, or is it important to lose the 15 pounds by Easter? If you set a sustainable pace, if you create a pull within yourself, then the, the uh, opportunity for change is more likely to occur. But it usually is going to start with some sort of external catalyst that says, you have to change or you're going to die. And what do you do if it's your executive that's resistant to change or slipping back into old habits? Losing executive buy-in that used to occur happens very, very often, more often than we probably um, would like to believe. And it is almost always because there's a disconnect between what the ex uh, expectations of the executive are and what is being actually delivered. And uh, it's very, very important up front that everybody uh, have expectations that are in alignment with one another. You know, what it's going to take in order to achieve these uh, um, uh, improvements and what support is going to be needed uh, of the uh, uh, people affecting the, uh, the improvements by the executives. Uh, I was at a, a, a conference just recently and uh, I met one of the speakers who was the Director of Operational Excellence. And a month later, I you know, called him up because just casual, courtesy, professional follow-up. And uh, he had told me that uh, he's been reassigned because his uh, OPEX program had been killed in the interest of cutting costs. And I'm still having a difficult time reconciling that in my head. You know, here you have a program that's supposed to drive value, cut costs, you know, eyes of the customer, um, and they've cut the program to save costs. So I'm just trying to figure out how that could have possibly happened. And I haven't come up with an answer yet.